seeing Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece didn't appear to be all that difficult. One sunny afternoon last August, two men walked into Drumlanrig Castle, threatened a female member of staff, and left with a painting worth tens of millions of pounds. An exhaustive police inquiry has turned up little, a large reward remains unclaimed, and the painting is still missing. Then, almost exactly a year later, two men walk into a gallery in Oslo, threaten staff, and leave with another artistic treasure. Edvard Munch's The Scream. Again, the crime is committed in broad daylight. It's far too early to say if the two thefts are linked, but the inquiry team here in Scotland is desperate for any information that might lead them to their Madonna. We've made contact with Interpol and that's um, it's early stages of that inquiry as well. And I would imagine that they will do the same as we did, uh, and they will be looking for any leads or any international leads that uh, may be available to them to give them an idea who may have committed their crime. Peter McAdam and the Duke of Berkeley, who owns the Da Vinci, are optimistic it will be returned one day. But if no one comes forward with any new information and no link can be found with the theft of the screen, they may have to rely on the conscience of thieves. They may be waiting a very long time. Roddy Scott, Scotland Today.